And now, The Morning Rush. Here we go, everything you need to get your day started. Your morning rush begins right now. A 19-year-old inmate is still at large after he escaped custody in Fort Pierce. Police say Justice Jay Reynolds was last seen at HCA Florida Lawnwood Hospital Thursday night. Reports say he left on foot and headed towards South 23rd Street. If you have any information on his whereabouts, police say you should call 911. You should not contact, have any contact with him. Right now, a bill is making its way through the Florida legislature that aims to drop the age from 21 back down to 18 when it comes to buying long guns and rifles. Now, that would roll back a law passed just weeks after the Parkland school shooting. The bill has one more committee to go through before a floor vote. Keep in mind, a Senate version of this bill hasn't even been drafted yet. Palm Beach County is hoping landlords in the area consider joining forces with them in hopes of providing more stable housing for the homeless. Through the Smart Landlord campaign, the families and individuals are provided with subsidies to live in those properties. When families and individuals have a safe place to call home, it reduces their stress. It can improve their physical and mental health, and children are shown to be more successful in school. The U.S. says there are no plans to scale back its response against Iranian-backed militia groups after carrying out a series of airstrikes along with the U.K. Over the weekend, targeting the Houthis in Yemen, this followed other airstrikes in Iraq and Syria. But the U.S. is walking a fine line, careful to avoid hitting any targets inside Iranian territory. Let's take a live look right now outside from Juno Beach. Looks pretty along some of our coasts this morning, but a lot of rain moving across parts of our inland communities with this front boundary still passing east across the state right now. Those downpours are moving into Okeechobee, Indian River, St. Lucie counties. And as this continues to move east, more of the rain will cover parts of Palm Beach County, especially some of our coastal communities there. This is noon today. Again, just one or two showers will continue to pass across parts of the area for us. Uh, eight o'clock tonight, isolated shower or two. We're waking up this morning with temperatures in the 50s. It is a nice cool start. Our highs for today are only going to be in the 60s. That is below average for this time of year. Keep the umbrella handy. We're going to continue to see rain across the area today. Matt and Sam. All right, Lauren, thank you. That does it for us here on CBS 12 News this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, we're back in 30 minutes with another local update. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, everybody. Remember, the news is always on at CBS12.com.